Hi, Alan with Slaps Audio here. Just wanted to do a quick installation tutorial on how to uh, connect our amplifiers um, when it comes to the input wiring, power and ground, uh, and then also the speaker outputs um, on our 3K, 5K, and 8K. Um, so we'll start with the positive and ground inputs. Um, obviously 3K, we have a 5K here. 3K is only gonna take a, a one run of one aught power wire, uh, positive and ground. In this case, we have a 5K. Uh, the 8K would also be the same as this. Um, so you need to do this. You need to do one out runs. Uh, you have two terminals for the positives and two one out runs for the ground. Um, bolted into the frame. Um, you can go off the battery post, you know, your secondary battery post if needed, but then that would have to be bolted to the frame. Um, so that way we're getting the proper power going to the amplifier. Um, when you're doing dual runs for the 5K, you would want to fuse, um, depending on your voltage, but we, we want to see 250, 200 to 250 amps per run uh, for the 5K, um, and for the 8K, uh, anywhere from 300 to 350, depending on your voltage, um, for the 8K. Uh, as far as uh, speaker wiring goes, um, and a lot of guys don't do this, and it, it, it drives me crazy. Um, but all our amplifiers, 3K, 5K, and 8K, are all, uh, all have terminals to accept 8-gauge uh, wiring for your positive and your negative to the uh, subwoofers. So in this case, we have a single sub. Um, these are 1-ohm amplifiers, so we'll pretend this is a dual 2-ohm voice coil sub, which would bring it down to 1-ohm. Um, our amplifiers are internally bridged. So... The negative and the two negatives are the same and the two positives are the same. So there's some confusion with some guys there. Um, they are internally bridged, which means that this positive and this positive is the same and this negative and this negative is the same. So in this case, and you can do this with if it was a dual sub, but we have one dedicated positive going to one voice coil, one dedicated negative going to a voice coil, and then also the same on the other side. Now, if you had a dual sub set up, obviously one positive would go to uh, one of the positive terminals, one negative would go to the negative terminal, and then you would jump to the other side and then pretend that, that, that you know, a negative to the other sub, a positive to the other sub, and then also jump to the other uh, side of the sub. Um, as far as the RCA input goes, you only plug into the out, to the input of the RCA. This RCA here is an output if you were doing, let's say, two uh, amplifiers and you were going to gain match, if you had, you know, multiple subs in the same box, you would just jump from here to the other amplifier and that would be it. Um, when it comes to uh, connecting everything, we always say power everything off. Um, you don't want to have your, your, you know, power connected, the radio on, the amplifier on, and then going to connect your speaker leads. Um, if you touch you can short out the amp. Um, so we always say connect everything first. And really before you connect everything first, we always like guys to, and in this case, we just have you know, uh, two, uh, a positive and a negative. Going to our little bench subs here. Um, these are actually dual two ohm voice coil wired in series. So the two subs together see a two ohm load. And as you can see, we have the voltmeter uh, set to 200 on the ohm side, and you can see we are getting a 2 ohm load. This is important because when you go and connect, if there's something funny with the wiring inside the box, or if there's something wrong, you will not get this reading, and you know that there's something wrong. So same thing, we don't want you to connect everything, turn on the amplifier, and then there's something touching with the subs inside, and then that can also short out the amp. Um, so we all, we're all we big on testing. We want you to test. We want you to make sure you, you have the proper impedance for whatever your, your box is, your subs. Um, and then we want you know, the, the, the input wires correct. We want the speaker uh, leads going out, eight gauge oxygen-free copper only on all amplifiers, a 3K, 5K, and 8K. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Um, any questions, you can obviously reach us through Messenger or uh, through our email. Thanks again. Keep on slapping.